I'm calling this fly the purple starling because of the hackle feather. It's a starling feather. It has a lot of colors, including a hot spot and a red bead. Place the red bead on the hook and mount the hook in the vise. It's a tungsten bead and the barb of the hook has been mashed down. I'm using 70 denier red thread. Lay down a body of thread. Trim the excess. I'm adding a few turns of lead-free wire to weight the fly. I like to capture the end of it and use thread pressure to pinch that off. Work my way to the front, capture the front. And helicopter off the wire. I just bind this down with a few loose wraps of thread to kind of fill in those gaps in the wire. And work my way back to the back of the hook. I'm using a red floss as a tag, sort of a hot spot. Bind that to the top of the hook. And I'm going to trim that basically to the back of the bend of the hook. Trim off the waist. tail will be fibers from a schloppen feather in a purple. I'll cut about 10 of those from the feather, roll them a little bit, and starting on my side of the hook, Put a wrap over that to roll the feather up on top of the shank of the hook. And then bind it down. Trim away the waist. From this same point, I will capture the end of a fine silver wire which will become the rib. Bind that back to where the tails are tied in. The abdomen of this fly is a single purple turkey biot fiber. It's dyed purple. Secure that to the hook, move forward, and trim it. I'll attach a hackle plier to the end of that biot and very gently begin to wrap that around the hook shank. Moving forward as I go and creating the segmented body. My thread has gotten in my way, so I'll have to move it forward a bit. Continue wrapping that by up and then bind it down. Trim off the thick waist piece. Give it a few more wraps. Now I'll counter wrap the fine silver wire. I should have used a hackle plier on this. I'm doing this by hand and it's a little bit difficult. 
this counter wrap will help to make the biot more durable, holding it onto the abdomen of the nymph. A little hard to get it even without the rotary feature of my vise and without a hackle plier, but bind that down, cut it, secure the end. The dubbing I'll use for the thorax is a ice dub in a UV black. It's black synthetic with a lot of sparkly synthetic fibers in blue and red and green. I'm going to dub that as tight as I can on the thread. And then wind a thorax on the fly all the way up to the bead. My hackle collar is a very small, very delicate starling feather. I'll prepare it by exposing the tip end of the feather. Then I'll bind that tip to the fly. It's so pliable and so delicate, you'll see that it, it just wraps right around the head of the fly, so you have to be pretty careful with this stuff. I have a couple of wraps to secure it, and I'm going to find a place to trim off that tip. Give it a couple or at least one more wrap to secure it. Again, with the hackle plier attached, I'm going to very gently stroke back the fibers of the feather until I can begin to wind it around the fly and using my rotary vise. In this case, I've got one and two turns. And now I'll bind down the stem. Pull it back, bind it tight with one wrap, another wrap, and then come in and snip off the stem. I'll stroke that back, hold it back, and give it some nice turns of thread to strengthen it and hold it in. Now I could leave this just like this with the, uh, the red hot spot showing, but I think I'll add a little more ice dub on the collar. And less is more in this case, and it's always hard to hold back and get just a small, small amount of dubbing on there. Give that a few turns in front of the hackle. And already it's building up pretty big. Stroke it back a bit and get some thread wraps in there. I want a little bit of this red thread to show at the end of the, at the head of the fly. And now I'll do a manual whip finish here as best I can two three four turns and cinch it in tight and then snip off the thread You can see how iridescent that starling hackle is. At a microscopic level, it has a lot of those same colors as the, uh, the ice dub. And with my ancient bodkin, 
that I made from a twig and a needle. I will add some Sally Hansons to this to make it a little more durable. And that's the finished fly.